Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, January 25th. We celebrate the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle today. It's day eight of Be Formed. And I'd like to draw your attention to my blog uh, for our upcoming retreats. We have uh, Be Healed retreats and Crucios coming up in February, March, and April here in the Diocese of Joliet. St. Paul the Apostle is one of my all-time heroes. Um, we can relate to him so well. He's a sinner, and yet uh, he became a saint. And that's the call for all of us, right? This great conversion that he had that we celebrate today. We know the story where he was on, a, on the road to Damascus and blinded by the light. And Jesus says to him, uh, the voice, you know, says to him, uh, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And so this is someone who was arresting, uh, persecuting, and participating in the murder of, of Christians. And, uh, and yet he became arguably the greatest evangelist of all time. There's a 2018 movie called Paul, Apostle of Christ by ODB Films. Highly encourage you to watch that great insight into the relationship between Paul and St. Luke and, uh, um, and the story of St. Paul is, is just fascinating. When Jesus says, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Was, was Saul persecuting Jesus directly? No, but he was persecuting his followers, which means that Jesus identifies himself with his followers. You know, we are the mystical body of Christ. Whatever you do to the least of these, you do to me, Jesus says. And so I think this is really important for us as we move forward in our own ongoing conversion is that do we see and treat and love another person as if they were Jesus? Some of the great saints like uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta in our own lifetime was able to do that. Um, after his conversion, uh, they changed his name to Paul. So he goes from Saul to Paul. It's symbolic of when we encounter Jesus and his grace touches our lives, we're never the same. I think about my own conversion, you know, which is ongoing. You know, I, we talk about conversion sometimes when we become Catholic, for example. So I was baptized Catholic at the age of 18, May 26, 1985. Uh, but my conversion is continuous. You know, I thought, man, I've arrived that day and I, I think today, probably 20 years in the future, I'll look back and say, wow, I was, I was far from God. I'm not saying I'm necessarily far from God, but hopefully there's this upward trajectory of our whole life, little by little, uh, and sometimes dramatically, like in the, in the case of, of Saul and St. And Paul, we surrender our lives, not just a portion of our lives, but every part of our lives. So how do we have ongoing conversion? I've got five points I'd like to make uh, as points of encouragement for you. The first one is repent and go to confession. So repenting means to turn away from, to turn away from anything that's not of God. And, you know, we start with our big sins, the obvious ones. And then little by little, as we go to confession, I encourage at least once a month, um, the Hopefully those big sins uh, are gone and then eventually we'll get down to little sins and eventually they'll be, we'll go to the, those sins of omission or even our thoughts. You know, I've sinned against you in my, in my thoughts, in my words and in my actions. So repentance and confession. The second one is forgiving others. Think of those people that you haven't forgiven. Um, and ask God for the grace to forgive them like he's forgiven them. The third one is to renounce lies. Maybe you've come to believe that God can't love you, God can't forgive you. Those are lies from the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the lie that you know God can't forgive me or that I'm not lovable. The fourth thing is invest time in your spiritual life. Prayer, scripture, and the sacraments. Make time for that every day. Uh, it'll be the best time that you invest. And then the fifth thing is uh, to ask for God's grace to see and to love others uh, as you would love Jesus. Try to see Jesus in the other person. So let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, on this feast day of the conversion of St. Paul, we ask for the grace to surrender our hearts more to you, every part of our lives, that our conversion may be ongoing, that people may come to see you in us, and we may come to see you in others. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Again, uh, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.